crevice corrosion in crevice corrosion a concentration of the corrosive materials or a combination of the substances form a corrosive solution located at a specific point accelerating damage one example is the corrosion that can occur between seals on the two opposing flanges with the gasket placed in between the seals this figure shows that the figure on the top left side shows that there is a corrosion product debris which hinders access of oxygen inside the metal so that at that point act as anodic region so when there is less access to oxygen that place act as anodic when there is more access to oxygen that place act as cathodic so under the anodic region when there is debris or deposits corrosion products are formed crevices crevice corrosion is initiated so this is a concentration cell oxygen concentration cell in action you can see at the bottom you can see how the damage occurs in out of sight places like the flanges going to selection of a wrong selection of oh, gaskets so crevice corrosion is a localized form of corrosion usually associated with a stagnant solution on the micro environment level such stagnant micro environments tend to occur in crevices process such as those formed under gaskets washers insulation material fastener heads surface deposits disbonded coating threads lap joints and clamps so crevice corrosion is initiated by changes in local chemistry within the crevice you can see the pictorial depiction where is crevice is noticeable this is a typical example of high strength low alloy steel exposed in sea water for an year you can on the right side figure shows that there is a severe fouling that is attachment of organisms macro level you can see barnacle oysters all these things when you scrap and remove the biomass you can see crevices beneath the attachment of hard fouls such as barnacle and oysters so these are all cancerous compared when compared to the strength of material is concerned the next slide shows the biofouling on high strength low alloy steel exposed in natural sea water for 24 months that is 2 years you can see severe macro fouling barnacle oysters and all which secondary fallen such as uh, molas bryozoans acidians all these things after scrapping the biomass you can see se severe crevices beneath the washers hard fallers such as uh, barnacles and oysters and you see the fouling load on the material it is 3.9 kg per meter square the corrosion rate that is very less 0.032 mm per year but the loss in tensile strength is about 68.3 percentage which is very very dangerous when compared to the uh, strength of material is concerned this ca this can cause uh, this is a cancerous growth this, this can cause uh, premature damage of the collapse of the structures at any time so one has to be very careful to wear selection of material even the design stage especially when you have dynamic environment like natural sea water this figure shows illustrates the left side you can see the crevice corrosion on a steel flange going to a wrong selection of a gasket the right side figure shows a typical view of crevice corrosion this figure shows the clear cut view of the failure investigation of crevice corrosion on six molybdenum flange after one year of service in fire water system the left side shows the overall arrangement of the flange the right side figure shows the corrosive attack especially crevice corrosion attack on the flange so the, this type of crevice corrosion may induce intergranular corrosion what is intergranular corrosion this form of corrosion is observed at the micro level of metals situated at grain boundaries rapid attack of neighboring grain boundaries will eventually lead to cracking of the grain structures sometimes elements and faces may be precipitated out of the grains 
and migrate to the grain boundaries as a result of the process such as aging this migrated precipitates can be a mismatch with the grain boundary composition in this manner causing a depletion of intergranular bonds also adjacent grains may lose significant elements such as chromium to chromium rich grain boundary precipitates leaving those regions deficient of chromium and susceptible to corrosion in a corrosive medium a typical example illustration of crevice corrosion on 6061 aluminum alloy and 2024 aluminum alloy crevice corrosion that occurs in narrow and confined spaces which we are going to uh, see in detail in the coming slides here we can come to know that 6061 experiences less extent of crevice corrosion than 2024 aluminum alloy you can see the compos chemical composition of 6061 aluminum alloy it is rich in magnesium silicon iron and which contain trace amount of copper chromium zinc titanium and manganese and compared to the physical mechanical and thermal and electrical point is having good physical mechanical thermal mechanical electrical properties also 6061 unified numbering system uns designation is a96061 it's a pre precipitation hardened aluminum alloy containing magnesium and silicon as its major alloying elements originally called alloy 61s 61 yes it was developed in 1935 it has good mechanical properties exhibits good weldability and is very commonly extruded second in popularity only to 6063 it is one of the most common alloys of aluminum for general purpose use hence uh, it is highly corrosion resistant on the contrary the alloy 2021 copper is a main alloying ingredient in 2024 aluminum alloy it is very strong compared to most aluminum alloys and has average measurability but the copper compound of this alloy makes it susceptible to corrosion many times many items in this alloy are produced with a clad surface to protect the underlying material in addition 2024 is not considered to be weldable you can see the chemistry the composition of the aluminum alloy aluminum it has chromium about 0.1 maximum level copper 3.8 3.4 that is a maximum that is a causality for corrosion 3.8 to 4.9 and and magnesium 1.2 1.8 iron 0.5 maximum magnesium magnesium 0.3 to 0.9 silicon 0.5 maximum zinc 0.25 maximum titanium 0.15 maximum when you compare the physical properties mechanical properties all these it is having excellent mechanical property fatigue strength all these thing on the right left side you can see four different alloys of uh, t0 t3 t t4 and t851 their mechanical properties strength physical properties fatigue strength specific heat thermal properties electrical properties are highlighted here The fatigue resistance of 2024 aluminum alloy makes it primary choice when the application is expected to be under stress or strain for prolonged periods. It is typically used in aerospace application, bowls, clock parts, computer parts, hydraulic wall parts, nuts, pistons and gears. If you need durable and strong aluminum material, this is an excellent choice. Combating crevice corrosion Methods and procedures for combating or minimizing crevice corrosion are as follows. Use welded butt joints instead of riveted or bolted joints in new equipment. Sound wells and complete penetration are necessary to avoid porosity and crevices on the inside. That is if welded only from one side. Close crevices in existing lab joints by continuous welding. caulking or soldering 
designed vessels for complete drainage avoid sharp corners and stagnant areas complete drainage facilitates washing and cleaning and tends to prevent solids from settling on the bottom of the vessel inspect equipment and remove deposits frequently remove solids in suspension early in the process if possible remove wet packing materials during long shutdowns provide uniform environments if possible as in the case of backfilling a pipeline trench use solid non absorbent gaskets such as teflon wherever possible well instead of rolling in tubes in tube sheets this is an overview of flange phase from fort gasket test left side you can see the flange phase the right side you can see close up of the superficial corrosion on the flange phase so the test with the polymer gasket frg showed no corrosion at potential up to about plus 1050 millivolt silver silver chloride electrode immediate repassivation occurred after lowering the potential to plus 350 millivolt silver silver chloride electrode at the end of the test consequently the frg gasket is considered equally suitable to prevent crevice corrosion the figure on the left side shows overview of flange phase from clinger seal c4430 gasket test and the right side shows close up of superficial corrosion on flange phase the test with the polymer gasket clinger seal showed no corrosion at potentials up to about 1050 millivolt plus 1050 millivolt silver silver chloride electrode immediate repassivation occurred after lowering the potential to plus 350 millivolt silver silver chloride electrode at the end of the test consequently the clinger seal gasket is considered equally suitable to prevent crevice corrosion thank you very much for watching this video